What's up, Pulselings? Thank you for joining me today. This is Pulse Beetle, where we will be taking a look at three games a week. Give you an idea whether or not you want to buy it, want to avoid it. If it looks good, if it don't, make your own mind up. And sometimes during the week, I will drop a video of my Let's Play. Enjoy the video. What's up, Pulsers? Today we're taking a look at Celestial Empire. This is a Chinese inspired strategy game city builder from what i quickly read at the beginning and as per usual i will do my research after i played the game which is a great way of doing it really yeah yes let's take a little look hope you're all having a good day today by the way oh look at that pink field Okay, it's best to build the Yama near the river and trees. Right, let's have a little look. Graphics look nice. What's that? That's the altar. Structures clean locks with new technology. That looks like technology. Right, where's the river? We've got river. Mm, we've got rocks and I think they're sheep. What are they? Wow, they're zooming a bit gnarly. Oh, they're pandas. <laughs> I thought it was sheep. Okay. Do we eat the pandas? Oh, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Right. Now, I can only go from past knowledge of, of these type of games. Like the spawn logs. Okay. I thought it might be something on the map. Right. This zoom in, it kind of goes like a normal zoom in with the mouse and then it just jumps. That's kind of odd. Developers, get that sorted. Weird. Right. So, the river. We've got stone, which I think that's stone. will probably be used for some kind of construction. However, as we're building a city center, we don't want stone directly where we're building. Again, I'm just going by past games. Uh, let's pick river there. I think this looks like a more nicer spot. Right, will I need two rivers or one? So is that the uh, building zone? Let's oh, build this side actually. What's that copper down now? All right. This means whatever's connected to the water has to be on the left hand side. That one's, uh, we need houses. All right, let's add equip butchers. We've got fuel. Gavin, that's going to turn into lumber and planks and stuff like that. Uh, food, 49. Right, well, let's pause that. I don't know if my food's draining. Clothing. Okay. Tools. Bricks. Peasants. So I'll gather that's how many people I've got alive. Homeless, 20. Yep. That's not good being homeless. Gold. Research point. Faith point. Oh, it's a religion. Okay. Uh, is this the tech tree? Alright, uh, it's Forrester. That's a key building. That will be for your lumber mills. Normally they've got like an area that you've got to build around. Well, I'll just explain to like, people who haven't played this type of games before. Right, let's do a road. Uh, let's go over this side. Because I want that. Because I might have something to do with food. I don't want to flood an area. One, two... Three, four, five. And this like the building now. Six. Right. What we got? Warehouses. That once I get my production up. Doesn't like there's that many buildings here. Marketplace. Inventors. Generate science based on the number of residents nearby. Does that mean the houses themselves? Oh, that's an unusual mechanic. Oh, it goes by the pathway. Ooh. Oh, that reminds me of another game on that. Uh, City Skylines. And I actually really preferred that in that. All right, so let's put that there. And I can build houses around this. So it would be the middle house won't be able to be built this side. So there's a little bit of pathway. Residents appreciate your help. Right, yeah, look, that affect both sides then. That's pretty cool. 
I'm not sure if you need roads around this or not. Some city builders let you get away with not having roads around every building. Others don't. So let's find out. The effect all that. The effects of front and back of the ones. Right. I say, hmm, build some more houses here in a minute. Right. Where's the wood production? That's how they're getting research points for that building. Oh, that means you're going to need a few of them. I was going to take ages to do anything. Are these are specials. Let's have a look. Wind pump, pumping water. So that would need to be on this side. Canal pump. Transport water at longer distances through the canal. These canals? Oh, okay. Leave us fresh water to rice. Good. Does that have to be. Oh, does that have to be built around it like the roads? Or has it literally got to be touching one part of the field? Access building production. Oh, okay. Lumberjack and a sawmill. Oh, I'd rather have a forester in here. Right, so I'm going to build up that way a bit. This can be my industrial area. I'll put it here. So I need a forester fast. And a sawmill. We'll put you down here. That way, if I can get a forester, I'll put him on this side. And then I've got a building chain, which will be nice. I also need a warehouse. To store what I am making right let's go more houses how much wood have I got left 63 charge per minute four let's skip this along a little bit what four so I'm on 40 right until I get that 40 I don't think I'm going to build much of anything unless that starts going up it might do from this production but right, they need a warehouse. Okay, then. How close they got to be? If I'm going to build a forest, so I don't really want that much stuff built down by it. Otherwise, that will affect the... Uh, oh, here we go. That will affect uh, the production. Right, production, wood. It's kind of weird that you've got to go through this sub bar. Right, now the reason I want that there is so that all this area can get as much treeing as possible. What is your problem? Okay. So I should start seen. People are disappointed with your actions, my majesty. Why? I attract 100 odd peasants. Okay. Why are they disappointed in my actions? People want to keep eating. They need to shut up. <laughs> this is not a democracy. This is a dictatorship, people. So that goes to here. Uh, I can build some more houses down here. Good little. How close that to that's far enough away. I'm gonna build a little subsection here. I'll build another one of those um, research places. It doesn't say I need space around these buildings, or if it does, I haven't noticed. It's not the nicest of buildings. Where's that uh, place? There you go. This will get most of the houses down here, I think. Yeah, look at that. Some of these little nerds ain't really getting anything. That's because they ain't got a road. That would help, wouldn't it? What about now? Oh, yeah, these two are. These two nerds are uh, going to die alone. Residents are grateful for your help. 
people want to be clothed i haven't got the infrastructure to promise anything yet i might take a negative from it but if i promise something i can't deliver that definitely will be a negative now won't it all right so this area this and this area are not getting an uh, um research point thingy would you not enough planks my majesty not enough planks. okay ready to get some planks going people do, 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 do. i need to get food in it who's going that fast right let's get uh where's food Got production right, how close does that have to be to that all right let's leave a gap here so i can have them roam Right, so where's the field? Let's wait for the rice building. Each farm requires field function. The waterways, right. Where's the... Aha. So, I kind of want to stretch that along there, don't I? Apparently, that's a weird way of doing that. Alright, that's 80 exactly. So... If I do that there, and I have a canal. So it's only got to touch the enclosed area. Oh, that's cool. There you go. Now I can do another one on your side. Because this has access to a road. So, let's do another one. There. Uh, connect to a road. Boom. boom, boom, boom. And then we're going to do the same as what we've got here. 60, why is that? 75. Oh, I saw some weird little box thing. That's quite. Oh, that's irking me a little bit, but we need to be done. Right, what was. Granary. There you go. Right, now our food. Our Gary's getting five plus. That's Gary getting free. Your help. Why is it only getting free? The Forester. Okay, let's increase that. We need more trees around here, I think. I think we need another little foresting hub. Which could be here, as that's the food, and the food is doing okay for now. So if that's going to be food, food. Where's that town border? Right here. So I can do this again here. And we're good. Whereas here, I need more forest stuff. Yes. So that's good for that. Is there not one this side? Oh, I didn't have the planks, but did I? Do I have the planks now? Hmm. Right, oh, 15 and I need 25. Let's just tickety boot that along a little bit. Because the question is, are they using it for firewood? Oh, yes, they are using it for firewood. Which means I will definitely need a new Forester ASAP. Right, I haven't got time to mess around with that. Mm. <laughs> right, this is just gold, so it doesn't cost anything. Right, that's on that side. So. Can that not be built? What is that not being built on? Can I not click on it? No, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Okay. It's an unknown. So if I built that there, I'm not sure if they can use the other side of that. Alright, let's go here. And let's do the same hub again. Lumberjack. And a sawmill. Leave a gap in the middle. Get off my screen.
Oh, you can expand the boards. Okay, we'll do that in a sec. Let me just finish doing what I'm doing, please. Right. So they're connected by the road, but they're going to need a warehouse. Warehouse is on the special. This is what I mean. The way I'm having to click through is not um, optimized. <laughs> nice new game, but the developers need to hear the stuff. Goods are being stored in a warehouse. Are stored across the city evenly. If the number of warehouses aren't connected to each other, each newly built warehouse increases the city's global capability by X. Okay, so if they're connected by road, they can use each other. So that means I can build a warehouse up here. However, it's going to take them a while to take it from here up there. Mm, it's going to be a pain. Right. So I have eight. A cycle, if I'm reading that right. Let's get that cycle going along. And he's 25. And the reason I need 25 is I want to increase these. Because the better these are, the more wood they're making, the more wood they're making, the better. But these getting upgraded is priority. Winter is coming. Prepare supplies of wood and food. Is that another mill? Wood store? Okay. Does that upgrade all of them then? Oh, that's pretty cool if it does. It does! Oh! Let's get that range up a little bit. Yeah, it's all of them. Oh, that's really cool. Right, food. I need to upgrade food. I need 100 uh, research. Let's get another one of these then. What was I doing? <laughs> the lights of day begins to fade in the middle of the morning. Looking up, you notice something that looks like a disc of pure blackness Ooh. moving across the surface of the sun soon the blackness has almost completely covered the sun and dusk falls over the country the air cools and the birds are quiet and motionless oh the celestial dragon has eaten up the much needed sunshine for the crop does that mean i'm gonna get attacked by a dragon or is that uh, mythology Organize an expedition. It's going to take three minutes. Send an expedition to a neighboring city to look for solutions. Oh, does that mean there's going to be other cities or there's going to be represented by cities by telling you cities are happening right? That should be quite interesting. Hmm. Music's changed. I need to attract more people. Um, which is not a good sign. Rice is minus two. So what I gotta do is build another two rice paddies up here. And then build more houses. I want a surplus of food before I run out. All right, what is this? Governor, according to these old records, this dragon is sensitive to loud sounds. Therefore, in order to get rid of it and restore the light sky, it's necessary to create as much noise as possible. These sounds will be designed to disturb the dragon and make it leave the sky. Ooh, engage in great presence. Fireworks. Ooh, do fireworks. Oh, they actually did the fireworks. That's pretty cool. Okay, giant screaming dragon, not cool. Right, productivity. That's priority, getting the productivity up of the buildings that we really have. Minus two, I think, that's because of winter. Hmm. You're going to have this, instead of having to click on each individual building, 
I have a button now that literally um, highlights all of that stuff. Just look. Oh, click over here. I didn't click over here. I didn't click over here. Find these buildings. There's not one here. Hmm. Right. So. I'll bring this up. And I'm going to level that up. Yao Guai are coming to our city. Yao Guai attacked the houses. What the heck is he up? Yeah, go on. Yagwai have attacked the buildings. Demons? Yeah, I recognize that from Monkey Magic, the demon picture. Do I fight them? Do I build soldiers? <laughs> this needs a proper tutorial, by the way. Just not got one. Right, let's build like a load of houses you here. You can't build here, my majesty. I don't like the way he keeps calling me my majesty. I don't know, I think it they overlap. Right. I've got enough stuff to upgrade some buildings. We're doing. Now, ticking along with that, uh, Research points now. Our rice is only plus two. Wood is plus 13. And I think I've got all the upgrades for the buildings. Right. They're going along. Diggity boo. We've got enough research stuff going on. Yeah, they're going along. Diggity boo. Right. I'm wondering if I can do back to back and then have a separate road going around and it still affect the separate road yeah, let's find out oh no so i would need another one up here That's just in the way of my houses then. How big is that compared to house? Look. Oh, I don't like that. What I'll do is if I put that there, build some more houses. And I'm going to, you can't build here, my majesty. So I'm going to leave a gap. I don't like doing it, but. There you go. Got everything. Right. So that's on that. That's on that. And that will also affect any ones I build there. I can't keep a finger on it. Oh, you can just keep your finger on Drake. Oh. That's a nice little detail, isn't it? So hopefully this will affect that as well. Yeah, it affects all of them. I don't know if it's got to be on both sides or not. Hmm. Right. Rice. That's what we need. Baby. Good girl. We're near that like productivity. The way this productivity works is very um hmm, yes. So I'm thinking if I put one now, do the river thing going in between. It should allow me to. All right, if I put that there, do a little pump there. Do that there, and then we have another rice patty. We can don't touch it, it doesn't matter. I think it will uh, register it from the top or the bottom. Just in case, yeah, I'll make it space. Just in case. And there you go. We've got another two of these little fellows. 
And then we're gonna build granary. Oh, that's not granary. That's granary. We're gonna build two of those actually. How many did this this is hold? Let's upgrade the granaries as well. Winter is coming. Prepare supplies of wood and food. We should we got loads of wood. I don't know if they need to travel these ways to these buildings. Because that's um not really being discussed. Let's have that we can build. Hmm. Go on that. On that. There you go. Open. Marketplace. Place to cope of the households. That looks like a bonus building. Fountain. Fixed capability of the houses in range. Oh, All right, that. Hemp. Are they making drugs or is that clothing? Clothing. Yeah. Restores damage nearby. That's a repair hut. Shrine generates faith. Okay, let's have a look at some of these buildings we've got now. Right, we've got warehouse. Watchtower. And there's expansion of the city's territories. Is that a big case of a road? I don't think it does. I think it literally just opens up the border. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. That's a necessity. Does that attack people? Increase border. Those building costs. Okay. Mm. So, minus four because it's winter. The wood. So far, um, I think this game's okay. It's got a few bugs though. This, the building side needs to be sorted. You can't have it like this. Half it here, then you go down to production. And there's no uh, explanations on stuff. What is that doing? So this does the number of peasants nearby as well. So it's very much like the technology place. Residents are grateful for your help. Good, because otherwise I'd kill them all. Let's do a few of these. I don't know the productions, but don't tell me. Right. Improved building range. Yay, that was a crappy amount, wasn't it, really? Right, so these are upgrade. We've got the productivity is in order. We make any improvements on houses? That is not a minute. I was in half in the 72 because I got rice and firewood by logs. I think they're happy. Market and clothing is what they need, right? I just unlocked those buttons, and haven't I? Market. Mm. Inappropriate terrain. So, what kind of distance does that do? The whole area. That was fast out of forest parts. Right, that's not going to affect that. We can have one now. One now. Let's have a look at this building. Oh. Kind of like that. The shape of it's quite odd. Normally it's square, so you can like, put it here so it affects the buildings around it a lot better. The fact that it's um, oblong is quite strange. And this needs to be sorted out as well. I don't know what that is, but for some reason I cannot build on that. Just like bits of a uh, broken fence. 
but I can build on top of iron. And if that's the only iron in the game, I'm getting rid of it without knowing it. This is what I mean. These are the little bits and pieces that need to be sorted out. Dragon of the East. We got Caring Goddess. Monkey King. <gasps> Monkey Magic. Oh, he does. What does he do? Miracle of Food reduces the number of trees by 10 required to activate optimal productivity in number check. Okay. What's that lady do? What do you do, lady? Miracle of Population. Increase the max presence enhances nearby governor's house. But that's the big building. Miracle of Bonus Crops. During rain, increased productivity of fields by 50%. Uh, no. The reason I'm saying no to that one is because when it rains, you'll get a surplus, but then you might not notice when it's not raining that you're in a negative. That can go against you. Population can go against you. As people start moving in quickly and your food start dropping. Uh, yeah, let's take that one. All right. Right, 3k is what I need. Uh, right, <laughs> I kind of like that. Right, what was I doing? Um, I was gonna do some clothing, wasn't I? Oh, let's do the building repairs as well. So I don't know if my buildings are naturally taking damage through like general wear and tear. Improve durability. Yeah, it's like that. Let's improve food production. What about the market? Does that give me anything? No. Right. Clothing. How people run around in the nudies. So. I take it this is going to be the same as them. Build an area. It's going to need to be near the river. Hmm. It doesn't say anything about distance. I think I can build on this. So I can have it going here. I have the water coming in onto whatever fields these have. Yeah, same kind of field in. Right, so they can only have 50. Uh, let's do it long ways again. That way I can have the same water thing going through. Uh, uh, uh. Kind of annoying that I can't connect it that way. Oh. And then on this side, I'll have the same plantation thing again. But down here. And we'll build this here, 50 by 50. Right, let's build a road. Why can't I not build a road there? And then we get away with just touching that bit. Go parallel to this field. Yeah, I'm liking the look at this for a first attempt. Oh, I need a warehouse. Warehouse. I'm gonna let me build down, is it? Right. I'll put it right up there. Oh. Reserves in your treasury are shrinking. Okay, give me some more gold then. Increase per the current amount of gold. So it's going up naturally. Just taking this time. Right, 
Right, taxis. I can't tell if I do each building. Let's go, taxis. I don't want to love it. This upkeep is 800, so I need to go above 800. Eight. 900. There you go. We're positive. That pull along tool bar, that's very. I don't know the word for it. Janky? Be the word for it? As you're pulling, it kind of pulls back as you're going along. Hmm. I'll do the clothing. Yes. Right. I need the uh, tailor, don't I? Just need to be near people. Right. It's not saying that it needs to be near them. Look, we've got some free real estate there. Empty input storage of the building. Warehouse workers do not keep up with this transportation of goods. Alright, can I delete that building? I don't think I've actually deleted anything. That's too far, in other words. Oh, that should give me a distance thing there, shouldn't they? Right, where's that warehouse? Stuff like that. I think I'm in there. It should be able to get in there because that should also have hemp and clothing in it. Yeah, it does. So let's put one over there. So, we got clothing. Yes, yeah, so we got clothing up and running. They're all going to get happy, which means I can tax them more. Which means I can get more stuff from them. I think that is basically the bare bones of the game, really. Like Fanting. And this right, this is what I don't like. Because <laughs> now I've built all these parts of the city. I've now got to go back and redo little parts like Oh, this has annoyed me. I hate this in games. They had such a nice premise. That should be a road connection thing too. That really should be. Developers, get out of the Pulse Beetle has demanded it. Wait a moment. These upgrades affect all the farms, right? Yao Guai are coming to our city. Wonderful. So, this affects all these buildings. But for some reason, with the granaries, it's not. I'm going to do it individually on each granary, which is kind of odd. In fact, that everyone else, which makes sense, upgrades all the buildings together, except for the granary. Maybe I can do it multiple times as white appears back to look. No, it allows me to do it. That's, I think that might be a bug. I can keep doing it. Hmm. So we got clothing, we've got food, we've got fuel, we've got gold, we've got a butt ton of research points. So that, uh, can I go past what this is? No, I think it's locked because it's a demo. Right, it's quite a big. Um, Production chain, isn't it? Well, I'm gonna call it there because it doesn't seem to be much more beyond what I've already looked at. And I will let you a panga. I'll tell you what I do and don't like. Right. 
Going into the heavens to get a bonus. I quite like that. That's a nice little touch from the um, Chinese culture. The rice fields and that with the water pumps. That's pretty cool. It's a little bit different from what most games are doing. Most games you plant the crops, plants grow, uh, like in uh, Banish and so many of these type of games. The fact that the research is connected by touching it onto the road and it goes at a distance. That is a lot, lot better than doing the circle thing, which I think I mentioned already. I hate that circle thing. However, in other buildings, you do have circle things such as the decorations. I think that's stupid. You should have it connected by the roadways like you do with the research. Um, this may be a glitch or I don't know. Cause I can keep doing it, but it's not actually improving it. What I can see. The graphics are very nice, detailed, and well done. Because when you zoom in, it does a really little, the last bit does a really little jank in and out. See? Just don't let them go beyond that point. You don't need to, the, the details here, that's as far in as you need to go. Because that's going to annoy people, the fact they bounce in like that. But the game itself looks really nice. I do like the details the shadows and everything else but i think you should get the farmers to actually work the land walk about and it just makes it feel more lively same as with the forest huts you got little details here but you don't have them going out cutting the woods i know it seems a bit nitpicky but when it comes to these kind of building games a lot of the people like those little they like hearing a little wood chopping going and those details will be necessary there is the housing. When you lay down housing, there should be a slight difference. Even if it's only minor difference, like one in every five houses has like um, a different brick lane or something like that in it. Because when you get the houses that look the same like this, everyone will have the same opinion. They all say it looks the same. There's no difference. Um, and that does detract from it. Unfortunately, it does. It's nitpicky, but you play a lot of these kind of games that's the kind of thing you look at same as this highlighting one that's um, a really nice little touch however there should be a button where it highlights all of them because you can't really see these that well i know it's there that's why i was able to click it straight away but if i had like um, a whole city and row upon row i'm not going to find each one of these check because they the um, roofing looks the same and it they blend in very well. Oh, there's another one now. Okay. So that, I didn't even see that one. But, um, yeah, you kind of need buildings to stand out a little bit. And you definitely need some kind of tutorial. <laughs> the way it's just thrown in, people get thrown in there, it doesn't explain that much. And your writing is way too small. Let me check if there's a, is there a UI option to increase UI size. Uh, but overall... Than that, the game looks really promising. Um, I would take out the whole demon aspect. I know that might be a cultural thing, but it's not really adding anything to it. No, it's not an option to increase the size of um, writing that. You kind of need that. Uh, the fact you've got a little map here that's very nice, but not very clear. You see what I mean? I've only just literally noticed it. I was too busy doing stuff to actually notice this. You can zoom in. Oh, that's a nice little touch. But again, remove the obstacle that's down there. Because it's just in the way. Let's be past beetle. Game's just frozen. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you think there's anything else I should or should not be doing with the channel. That would be much appreciated. As we are building this together. Keep the pulse. And remember.